everyone. Welcome to Edward College. I am a professor of computing and information sciences. I'm Atri Sinha, and I'm going to talk to you about some of the transfer pathways available to you when you're considering transferring to Edward to do a CIS major. So when you're considering why do I need to finish a bachelor's degree? Um, well, you have done the hardest part that is choosing uh, to get a college education. Now, um, obtaining a four-year degree at Edgewood in the CIS field would help you open, would help open more doors than that could otherwise remain closed. Uh, so a CIS major and, uh, in, and at Edgewood would provide you a more in-depth and well-rounded education and would give you not only the theoretical foundations, but also the practical um, education, um, the practical skills necessary for solving ethically real world problems and would also prepare you for the ever changing technological needs. As evident from this graph, uh, from this data here uh, with the bachelor's degree, you can usually find high paying positions. So, um, as a bachelor's degree holder, you will have a wider range of career opportunities within the computing and IT field, and some options may include a uh, computer programmer, computer systems analyst, information security analyst, software developer, and many more. This is just the information that was pulled up from the 2020 um, data as was uh, supplied by the Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics. And um, usually 100% of our Edgewood College CIS graduates are employed full-time within six months of graduation. And um, a lot of times our CIS students get jobs and most of them get jobs even before graduating due to the high demand of the field. Now I'm going to talk to you about some of the CIS majors and minors that are available at Edgewood College that you can pursue. So we have CIS major, which is Computer Information Systems, and we have these concentrations available. Um, if you're interested in web software development or mobile development or cybersecurity, data science, computational neuroscience, or business, then you can choose those concentrations to do a CIS major. We even have a CIS business combined major that kind of uh, mixes the CIS concepts along with some of the business courses and gives you like an holistic, a holistic understanding of both the worlds. And um, we also have a web design and development major that kind of provides you a strong foundation of uh, graphic design as well as computing related skills and uh, prepares you for jobs in the rapidly growing area of web design and development. We also have some minors in computer information systems as well as computer science, computer science teaching, and web design and development. Some of our program highlights include providing a high quality practical education and our students um, develop critical thinking and problem solving abilities and our students are prepared for the ever-changing technological needs. And with our high placement rate and internship opportunities, with our well-established industry partnerships and high average salaries, we provide a, a great value for money and um, a, a wonderful, well-rounded education. Edgewood's Liberal Arts uh, Foundation and our small class sizes our one-to-one -one student interaction and um, our undergraduate student research opportunities and other, you know, uh, partnership outreach opportunities and development student development activities. They all kind of gives you a great experience that you would seek in an undergraduate uh, curriculum. Overall, uh, it helps you build a strong communication and soft skills that are necessary absolutely to thrive in the field of computing and IT. A lot of times some students think that, okay, um, if I am going to pursue a, a career in computing or IT, I probably will end up just coding or, um, you know, sitting idly in a, in a cubicle and just, um, working by myself in, a, in, a, in front of a computer the whole day. That is absolutely a myth. And what's absolutely important is to 
have that strong communication and soft skills and constantly working with everyone. So that is something which is really important and we uh, make sure our students understand and build that. We also have an uh, Edward Empowered, which is a student-led organization and their students come and gather and they uh, talk about and brainstorm about different projects that they are passionate about. For example, our students sometimes chat about um, different projects they're interested in related to computing and they could work on Raspberry Pi or robotics or sometimes even just informally gather to um, uh, play games or see movies and, and so on. Now I'm going to talk to you uh, very quickly about some of the curriculum pathways that we have if you're considering transferring to Edgewood, especially from Madison College. If you have an associate degree from Madison College in either an IT mobile application developer or IT web software developer track, then we have efficient pathways for you to directly transfer to our CIS major in uh, mobile development concentration and web software development concentrations respectively. Uh, it's important to note that you know you actually can transfer to our CIS major in any concentration if you uh, whatever you wish but the most efficient pathway with the minimal number of courses as, as is designed in our according to our ITCIS transfer guide has been um, uh, created for these particular concentrations but feel free to choose any concentration that you would like and you know um, a completion of your AS degree would guarantee at least 43 and up to 64 degree transfer credits based on the kind of courses you select including at least 34 transfer credits in the CIS major and finishing uh, I mean you can finish the CIS major in at least uh, as little as two years at Edgewood College. Here is a, a glimpse of you know the uh, the kind of courses that you have to take in the mobile development concentration if you graduated with an associate degree from Madison College as an IT mobile applications developer. So if you want to pursue a CIS major in mobile development concentration then in your junior year, you just have to take Network Fundamentals and Business 298 to 299. And um, in spring, you have to take Agile 302 and uh, Project Management along with a few Gen Ed courses. And then in your senior year, you have to take um, a few more Gen Ed courses and our CIS Capstone project. It's important to note that um, you may have some reduced Gen Ed requirements uh, for because you are transferring from your AS degree to a degree completion, bachelor's degree com completion, for um, the specific requirements that would apply in your case. Please talk to one of the advisors when you are considering transferring to us. And uh, for, um, as I said earlier, you may actually pursue an additional concentration or even go for a different concentration if you like. So this is just some of the mapped courses if you choose to, for example, um, graduate with the cybersecurity concentration or business concentration. Similar courses um, are also available for you if you choose to uh, pursue other concentrations such as data science or computational neuroscience. We also have similar mapped courses for the IT web software developer to the software uh, web software development concentration. And um, feel free to look at that or also visit our website for more details about it. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how to apply. So as I said earlier, please visit our website and it's edgewood.edu slash admission slash transfer hyphen students. So as part of our agreement with Madison College, if you have a GPA of 2.0 or higher, you get a guaranteed admission and you can transfer up to 64 credits. And you must earn up in a minimum of 32 credits at Edgewood College, including the required work in your, in your major. And um, for graduating with a BS degree, you have to um, earn 120 degrees total. So you can, you see up to 64 credits kind of 
takes you more than halfway and um, you can actually finish in less than or or almost in in two years um, as part of our um, application madison college students can actually use the code 013 for um, getting uh, an application fee waiver as well there is a lot of financial aid and scholarships available for students who sometimes are unaware um, and and do not consider initially transferring to you know private colleges um, we do have a lot of scholarship as i said for example we have um, uh, the transfer distinguished scholarship which is and, and all of these scholarships are merit based and competitive some some of them are competitive so um, you know for example the distinguished scholarship if you are if you have a gpa of 3.5 or higher you automatically get um, you know are eligible for that and you can get up to um, uh, you know as much as ten thousand dollars per year we have the excellence transfer excellence scholarship and that would award you um, $8,000 a year if you have a GPA of 3.25 or higher, and the Transfer Honor Scholarship gives you $6,000 per year, and the Achievement Scholarship awards you $4,000 per year. We also have some competitive award for students who are transferring directly from Madison College to Edgewood College, and if they had earned a GPA of 3.0 in at least 27 credits, they can apply for the Madison College Partnership Award. So please feel free to apply um, and don't let you know the tuition and anything um, stop you. Make sure you apply for the financial aid when you apply for the transfer. If you have any questions at any time, you can always reach me in my via my email. Uh, my email is asinha at edgewood.edu. And please visit our websites. The top one, the top link that I have provided here is our um, informational link for our CIS undergraduate program. The second one is um, it has a specific information about all the transfer equivalencies um, and transfer program related um, information. And if you have any questions, let me know. Most likely, if you are coming to Edgewood, I'll, I'll see you if you are definitely transferring to our CIS program. So good luck while choosing your um, college.